Development of our country brings about more choices that entails changes in the way people consume. A good example is wine. Having had the privilege to travel the luxurious world of wine, to explore the vineyards, to see how it is made and to test it, here I would like to tell you the story of how wine is made, how many types there are and what it is history is about. Tools and bases for pressing and pouring wine have been discovered in the present-day Syria land, showing that wine must have been first produced and consumed by humankind some 8,000 years ago. People harvested grapes, pressed them with their bare feet, and separated the juice from the remnants in barlap sacks. As a result of it, a wonderful and enjoyable drink was created and people kept it in clay pots. The sweet red juice turned into a tart, acidic drink that tasted like magic to people who started to admire it. Wine was widely used in ancient Egypt and Greece some 2000 years BC. Wine was considered a gift from the god Dionysus in ancient Greece, then a gift from Bacchus by the ancient Romans. The name wine comes from the Latin word vinum. Today, wine is enjoyed all over the world and has become a popular drink among many. There are thousands of types of grapes in the world. Out of those, a hundred used for wine. The most commonly known wine grape varieties are Merlot, Cabernet Sauvignon, Franc, Pinot Noir, Petit Verdot, and Riesling. Grape beans are planted in a half a meter distance from one another and three meters between in a rows. The trees are half a meter tall. As they grow, they become entwined with the neighboring branches of the trees next to them. Iron wires are run across the top of the trees and in time, the grapes dangle down from the main branch, which on the way coil the wires. The leaves protect the fruit from the sun and letting that fruits to ripen. The roots of the grape veins penetrate the limestone and clay soils, reaching a depth of 10 or more meters where the nutrient is rich in moisture. Grapes are fruit of the soil, the sun and the climate. 
all together is called as terroir by the French. The grape vin is like a man's life. The fruits of the fully grown vines are rich in color, taste, and aroma, while the young grapes are juicier. Merlot and Cabernet grapes are relatively easy to grow, while Sauvignon type of white grapes is more delicate and requires more care. When the color and taste grapes have fully matured, they are harvested by hand or by a special machine. The white grapes are collected from the third week of September when the temperature is about 25 degrees Celsius, while the red grapes are collected two weeks later at a temperature of near 23 degrees Celsius. After the harvest, the grapes are carefully pressed to separate the juice. For white grapes, the juice is squeezed out naturally by weight of gravity and, it, and is processed separately. The rest of the fruits are put in a large horizontal steel cylinder shaped container with a special porous rubber tube that filters the contents by expansion. Red grapes are processed similarly by letting the juice separate from the fruits with gravity. The remaining pulp is softly pressed and saved with the grape skin to produce tannin in which the wine color is preserved. The juice is poured into a large barrel and fermented. The juice separate itself naturally is used to produce high-grade wine. Ordinary wine contains 85 to 90 percent naturally separated grape juice and 10 to 15 percent tannin. Fermentation means adding yeast, single cell microorganism. When the yeast consumes the sugar, heat is released and alcohol is produced. When sugar levels drop to 0.2 grams per liter, the wine is called dry. When sugar is replaced by 13 to 14 percent alcohol, good quality fresh wines are created. After fermentation, the wine is transferred into another container, wooden barrels and stainless steel containers, and preserved for 6 to 12 months. High-grade specialty wines are preserved for additional 6 months or so. When wine produced its own unique taste, fragrance, and color completely, then it can be bottled. One bottle of wine contains about 600 to 800 grapes or 10 bunches. A factory with a capacity to produce 2 million bottles of wine per day is built at the French village Landiers, not far from Bordeaux city. So this is um, another type, a packaging type, this is called bag and box. 
It's not Tetra Pak. I have to stress this because many people confuse with Tetra Pak. Tetra Pak, you know, from juice or from, uh, from milk. Tetra Pak, you open and you have immediately access to the liquid inside. For wine, as you know, the biggest enemy of wine is oxygen. Yes. So we have to try everything to keep the oxygen away from the wine. Yeah? So that's why when you open a bottle and you don't drink it up, so let's say you drink only one or two glasses in the evening, and you keep the wine for one, two or three more days, the wine gets oxidized and this changes the um, taste. You can use bag and box. So bag and box means that you have a paper carton box outside yes. and inside you have like a plastic bag, aluminum bag with the wine inside. I see. And you can open it and the wine comes out here only by gravity. The wine comes out only by gravity. By gravity. So, so you, even if you, if you open it, the wine comes out, no oxygen enters. I see. And we guarantee that the wine inside this bag stays fresh for six weeks. So this is really, in my opinion, like ingenious for restaurants. This factory is for bottling J.P. Chenet, a world famous French wine produced by LGCF Group, the Grand Chenet, France. The bottle has unique shape with leaning neck. At that time, you had only wine in what we call Bordeaux bottle. So this is the, the standard shape of the bottle, mainly for Bordeaux wines, because at that time the majority of French wines sold were wines coming from the Bordeaux region. Mm -hmm. And all these bottles were, had the same shape. Just imagine you have all these Bordeaux bottle shapes on the shelf. You have 50 or 100. They all look the same. The idea of Joseph to have a wine in a bottle which looks a little bit like for spirits. Yeah? And okay, I think that Joseph, his name is Joseph, and he baptized the bottle with the name Josephine. Mm. So this is uh, his baby, so to say. The bottle is his baby. And in 1991, our Josephine bottle won the Oscar, the Golden Oscar for packaging. Pack. Special bottle shape, easily recognizable everywhere. everywhere. Uh, uh, regardless what supermarket you came in, when you saw this bottle, you knew exactly, okay, this is J.P. Chenet. J.P. Chenet is really like an original French wine. This is what people expect from a French wine. It's mm -hmm. a typical, typical French wine. So the wines for J.P. Chenet, as we sell it today, they come mainly from the southern parts of France, from the south of France. Easy to drink, full of, full of uh, fruitiness, full of sunshine, because mm -hmm. the vineyards, they are close to the Mediterranean Sea. In, uh, even in 1984, 1984, 1985, there were, you could not find the grape type on the label of the bottle. So you never knew what was inside. You knew that it was French wine, red wine, dry or semi-dry or semi-sweet, but you did not know whether it was Cabernet Franc, or Pinot Noir or Merlot, this was not known. Uh -huh. And Joseph was the first, the very first to announce and to show, to indicate the used grape types on the label of the bottle. So this was uh -huh. the first wine where you could see, ah, it's Cabernet Sauvignon inside or it's Chardonnay inside. When we look back, I think that was a small revolution yes. in, in the wine industry. In 2018, 15% of J.P. Chenet wine was sold in France while 85% was exported to 172 countries. That year, 10 million bottles were sold in France, 6.8 million bottles in Germany, and 6.3 million bottles in the UK. The higher the capacity of the plant, the lower the cost per bottling, and the lower the retail price, as well as a reduction of carbon dioxide. Thank you. 
This was a short documentary about the brief history of a wine, its different types, and how the magic drink of wine is produced from the beans to bottle.